biology. So welcome again to this next class, where in this session allowed us to discuss about the microscope and all the microscope parts. So what are the parts used for? What is this part of the microscope used for? What is that part of the microscope used for? So let's begin. Let's, let's look at the parts of the microscope first. We are going to start with the eyepiece lens from the top to the bottom. So the eyepiece lens, what's the function of the eyepiece lens? So the function of the eyepiece lens, it's simply to magnify the specimen which is on the stage. Because in the stage, this is where we keep all the specimen or the slides which contain the specimen. So the function of the eyepiece lens is to magnify the specimen. So let's look at the other one. We have the body tube. What's the function of the body tube? So the body tube, it holds the eyepiece lens and the objective lenses in position. So that's the major function of the body tube, to hold the eyepiece and the objective lenses in position. So below the body tube, we have the revolving nose piece. What's the function of the revolving nose piece? So the function of the revolving nose piece is to be able to select the type of lens that you want or the type of objective lens that you want for magnification. It has different lenses for magnification, which are, for example, it has times 10, times 40, times 100. Based on the type of the microscope that you are using, they may vary. So the function of the objective lenses, sorry, the function of the revolving nose piece is to give you a chance to select the type of objective lens and the type of magnification of the objective lens that you require. So let's look at the next. We have the course adjustment knob. What's the function of the course adjustment knob? So considering the body tube, the course adjustment knob pushes the body tube slightly up or brings it slightly down. This is the reason. It brings the image into a rough focus. So when you have placed your slide on the stage, first of all, you should adjust the course adjustment knob so as to rack up the body tube slightly, not slightly, on a long distance up or on a long distance down. And this is the function to bring the image into rough focus. So below the course adjustment knob, we have the fine adjustment knob. What's the function of the fine adjustment knob? The function of the fine adjustment knob, this is to bring the image into a very sharp focus. So after using the course adjustment knob to bring the image into a rough focus, therefore, we again use the fine adjustment knob now to bring the image into a sharp focus. That's the function of the fine adjustment knob. So the next one, we have the objective lenses. Now the objective lenses is what we said that are found below the revolving nose piece. So what is the function of the objective lens? So you must remember that in the revolving nose piece, we have different objective lenses containing different magnifications. So you may have times 10 magnification, times 40 magnification, times 100. So it depends on which one you will want to choose. So the function of the objective lenses, it's like the eyepiece. The function is to magnify the specimen. And you can remember in our previous class, we said that to know how much your microscope is going to magnify, you're going to multiply the eyepiece magnification times the objective lens magnification. For example, the eyepiece magnification is times 10. The objective magnification that you had chosen on the revolving nose piece, it's about times 50. So if we take times 10 for the eyepiece and times 50 for the objective lens on the revolving nose piece, and you calculate your magnification, you are going to get that your magnification will be times 500. This means that if you place a specimen on the stage, it's going to be magnified times 500, or it's going to be magnified 500 times. So, back to objective lens. We say that the function 
is that it contributes to the, to the magnification of the specimen. That's in and done. Let's look at the arm or the limb. What's the function of the arm or the limb? The function, it is used to handle the microscope. So, for example, if you want to raise the microscope or if you, or if you want to carry the microscope, first of all, you hold on the arm or the limb. So the function of the arm or the limb is that it is used to handle or it is used when carrying the microscope. That's it, and then let's look at the next one, which is the stage. So what's the function of the stage? So the function of the stage, this is where the slide containing the specimen is placed. So some books say that stage, this is where slide is placed, which is true. But the best definition for stage, you must say, this is where the slide containing the specimen is placed. Because for you to use the microscope, the slide must have the specimen for something that you should see. Yeah. So the next one is clip. So on the stage, we also have the clip. What's the function of the clip? The function of the clip is to hold the slide firmly. So after you have placed your slide on the stage, remember it's not stable. It can either slide down or slide on the upper sides of the microscope on the stage that is. So to hold the slide firmly on the stage, we use the clip. So after you have placed your slide on the stage, the slide like that, you use the clip to hold the, to hold the slide in position. So let's look at the condenser. What's the use of the condenser? So the function of the condenser is that it concentrates light to the object. So the condenser, it receives light from the mirror. After receiving light from the mirror, it concentrates the light on the slide containing the specimen on the stage. So the function is to concentrate light to the object or the specimen on the stage. So the next one we have the diaphragm. What's the function of the diaphragm? So the function of the di diaphragm is to regulate the amount of light which is passing through the specimen. So if you look down the eyepiece and the specimen is on the stage and it is not well lit by the light coming from the mirror through the condenser, so you can adjust the amount of light passing through the specimen using the diaphragm. So if you want too much light, you will adjust. If you want very low light, you will adjust. So that is the function of the, of the diaphragm. So we also have the mirror. We had discussed it earlier. But let's look at the mirror. What's the function of the mirror? So the function of the mirror is to reflect light through the condenser and onto the stage. That's the function of the mirror. It reflects light through the condenser on the stage. Or you may say it reflects light onto the stage. But the best definition to use is it reflects light through the condenser onto the stage. That's the function of the mirror. So we have the hinge screw. What's the function of the hinge screw? So the hinge screw, the function is to allow the microscope to be able to bend and tilt because we can see that the hinge screw is found at exactly the central part of the microscope. So the hinge screw, the function is to allow the microscope to tilt. So if you want your microscope to tilt like this or like this, the hinge screw is going to provide the support to do so. So lastly, we have the base or stand. The, what's the function of the base or stand? Because you see that the base or stand is found on the bottom part of the microscope, just like our feet. What's the function of our feet? To provide us with support. So in the microscope also, the function of the base or stand is to provide a firm support for the microscope. Also, the base or the stand, it is used when handling the microscope or when carrying the microscope. Remember we said that you can also use the arm or the limb. So in this case, we also see that the base is also used when carrying or supporting the microscope. Because you will hold the microscope by the arm and then you support by the base and move 
to anywhere you want to place your microscope on. So that has been today's class. We have been discussing about the microscope. So I hope to see you in the next class where we'll be discussing something else. Biology.